Minister, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this important debate here tonight. In particular, I support the motion's call on government to introduce timely, targeted and temporary weight mortgage interest relief to support homeowners facing significant increases in their mortgage costs. And also, it's called to government to work with the Central Bank of Ireland to enhance the supervision of vulture funds in the interests of struggling borrowers. This is an issue that I and my colleagues in the Rural Independent Group have been to the forefront on. Government would also do well to remember that in November of last year, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, along with the Green Party, voted against the Rural Independent Bill, which would have provided legislative protection to farming families against vulture funds. This is an issue that has been going on for years now. Indeed, in 2020, during leaders' questions, I raised issues relating to the fear and terror that these vulture funds are generating through forced farm sales and that had re-emerged uh, following the, the end of COVID-19-related moratorium on the forced sales. We know then and we know now from reports by personal insolvency practitioners and farm organisations that some farm sales were even, even being forced through without any prior notice being given. Additionally, the problem of home mortgage arrears is enormous, as we know from most recent data supplied by the central bank. In fact, the outstanding balance on principal dwelling mortgage amounts in arrears of more than 90 days was 6.2 billion, equivalent to 6% of the total outstanding balance on such mortgage accounts. In recent times in my own constituency, there were over 570 family home loans in arrears for two years or more in County Offaly but I suspect that that number has increased dramatically in recent times. And for mortgage holders who happen to be small business owners, they're also facing a double blow. I've seen many small businesses being forced to close due to utility costs in the last couple of weeks. So I'm asking government here again tonight to please do more to help our small businesses, help those businesses that create so much local employment, help them to survive within our communities. Thank you.